guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be um, kind of like my own take on uh, the, uh, what is it called? The Disney Princess Roulette Style Project Pen. Um, my friends on Instagram, we were all chatting and I was invited to join this um, collab, but I didn't feel like I could take on any more um, project pants, like makeup project pants, because I've I was kind of like getting overwhelmed with how many products I have going on. So, and I have two more uh, introductions coming out th at the end of this month and then in June. So I was like, this is too much for me. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to pass on this. But I still wanted to support my friends who created this um, tag and I thought, how can I like support them and, but not like commit to the project pen. So I decided to do like a, my own little reading project pen based on the categories that these girls came up with now if you guys remember I think it was like the end of it was last year the end of summer beginning of fall maybe um, I don't know if it was Lorraine who created this or she collabed with some other girls and they did five by bonfire night which was a reading like project pen type thing and I had a lot of fun doing that. The, the concept of this project pen is to, is to pick five or seven um, items based on different colors that are matching to an individual princess from Disney. So, um, but, and you choose them at random. So what I decided to do was pick books based on their colors on the covers on the list. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, um, I picked the book based on the color, like I picked the princess, the color came out and I picked the book based on whatever color was on the cover. I hope that made sense. I'm confused. So anyway, I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I'm not going to do like updates um, or anything. I just wanted to um, film this video and show you guys what I'm going to be planning on reading hopefully um, during this next, what, three months? Three, four months I think this project goes? Four months. Um, and hopefully this will help me help me with my reading challenge. I am a big reader. I love to read. As you guys can see, I have I have oh where's I have a bookshelf here, and then my closet. There's like a space between the top of the closet and the ceiling, and um, there's like a hollow space. I have books there. I have a big bookshelf here. I have two bookshelves here. Um, I have a bookshelf in my room. I have a bookshelf in the living room. <laughs> I have books everywhere in my house. So I'm a big big reader. It's one of my biggest pastimes, um, and I know some of you guys like to read. So. Where was I going with this? Oh yes, I <laughs> I created a reading challenge on Goodreads and I'm a little bit behind. So hopefully this will help me like get motivated so I can do a lot, a little bit more reading and a little bit less of whatever it is I'm doing that's making me, that's keeping me from reading. So anyway, that's the longest introduction I've ever done. <laughs> Let's just get started. So. The first princess that I picked out, oh, okay, I, pick, I picked them out first because I was like, what if this is a big failure and I can't pick out any other books, but no, it worked out good, so. Anyway, first princess was number three, Aurora, and then you can either pink, pick something that's bright pink or gray. And for that, I went with this book, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, and this is a fantasy um, novel, it's a young adult novel, and it, it surrounds... Um, from what I read on the back, it's this girl. It's fantasy, so it's kind of like a like a kingdom type um, environment world. There you go, like a kingdom world, and her family they're like very straight. They walk on the straight and narrow. Whatever the emperor or king or president or whoever the top person is, whatever they say, they follow. And um, her brother is accused of treason, so she goes to save him. And the way for her to save him is to join like the army of this kingdom and then she gets into some shenanigans I guess trying to save her brother and then she discovers things and I think she meets someone and she might fall in love pretty it's a young adult so I'm assuming there's like, a little bit of romance in there but um, it's a this is a two book uh, series it's a duology and the second one is a torch against the night and I think this just came out because this book has like the first two chapters or something at the end. So I'm excited to read it. This has had some uh, quite a bit of buzz on um, book two. So I'm excited to read that. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. The next one is number 12, which is Rapunzel. And that is either dark purple, no, purple or lavender. 
And for that, I went with purple and I picked uh, The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. And this is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy. So I can't really tell you guys what's going on here, like as far as the plot, because two books have passed already and I don't want to ruin anything. But as you guys can see, Vin here, um, Vin is the girl here. She's wearing like a sash belt type thing and it's purple. So this book is massive. It's like almost 800 pages. Um, and then it's mass market, mass market paperback. So it's a little bit hard. Um, but I really enjoyed the other two books that I have read. The only reason why I've been putting this off is because this is a big book um, and it can get a little bit overwhelming. I, this is my first um, introduction. This series is my first introduction to adult fantasy and it's a little bit like hard for me to, to not to get into but to maintain my attention. Uh, don't get me wrong i have enjoyed the other two i've given them four out of five stars but i don't feel like as in love with it as other people that they say it's the best thing that they've ever read but um i have i am enjoying it and i just want to finish as many series as i can this year and hopefully i can add this to those finished um series so then i picked um, I was doing this on random.org and I clicked generate and it came out with 12 again. So I went with the second choice, which is lavender. And for that, I picked fairest of all by, who is this by? I don't know. It just says Valentino here. I don't know who this is from, but as you guys can see here, Maleficent has got her makeup on point. Uh, so I went with her for lavender. I don't, I don't know if like her eyeshadow, the lightest part would qualify as lavender, <laughs> maybe. But um, this is the story of how she became how she is. Kind of like, I guess, I don't know if the movie Maleficent was based on this book or this book was inspired by Maleficent. But um, based on what I read on the, in the insert here, um, this is supposed to be like, um, like her story of how she became the way she is. Um, and actually, um, my friends wanted to, my friends who don't read want to get into reading so they wanted to pick something easy to read so this is our book club book for that reading club it's a small book uh, it shouldn't be take it shouldn't take too long to read so we'll see how this goes and we'll see if it works for book club I'm not sure if it will but I'm just I'm just glad they want to read and then for the next one is number eight Merida which is the princess from brave and there you can pick either dark green or teal and for that i went with dark green and this is the boyfriend league by rachel hawthorne she writes contemporary chiclet books and they're just warm and cozy reads they're fun it's just you're just like this is warm and cozy so of course i went with the you have the dark green pine trees here and then the fence and then uh, you have like dark green in the baseball thing and this doesn't have like um like a blurb in the back so i have no idea how what this book is about you got like the prices uh, for like the food and the drinks and stuff and then it says here but how much to get the hot picture to notice you so uh, i don't know it's it's warm cozy chiclet like i said already like four times um, I've read, I think all of her books, all of her books are like that. They're very, they're mar mass market paperback, but they're very small and the typing's kind of spaced out. So I have read one of her books before in one sitting. Um, they're just those kinds of books that really grab you and they're easy to read, they're fast reads. And I've had this for a while and I think it's time that I dive into Rachel Hawthorne again. So I'm excited to read that. None of her books have disappointed me in the past, so I don't expect that one to disappoint me either. And then number nine, Moana, which is the newest Disney princess. I'm sure you guys know who she is. And those, the choices for that are coral or ten. And um, for that, I picked, maybe I'm stretching a little, little bit, <laughs> but I went with The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. This is a big book. Like, I could kill someone with this one. This one's like 800 pages. It's super big. Um, and the pages are kind of like, like Bible thin pages. Um, this is about, what is this about? I have no idea what this is about. I didn't even read what this is about. I bought this because, um, and I bought this a while back. I bought this, I had seen, I think, Reagan from Peru's Project talk about her, um, 
like favorite reads or something and she um she had this book in her one of her lists and she really talked it up and i was like oh okay you know whatever i it kind of like stayed in the back of my mind but then i think i read uh was it on i wonder it was like an article on facebook like a recommended thing and it, it was titled like books you must read in your lifetime and this was in it and then one time when i went to barnes and noble this one was on sale i think it was like 6.95 it was already on clearance um so i was like oh well reagan talked about it i truly enjoyed it and it's it, it was on the list that one of the best books to read in your lifetime so i said what the heck it's on clearance uh, if i don't like it i won't pay full price for it so i picked it up but i have no idea what this is about <laughs> i should have looked it up before i started filming this but um all the the books will be linked down below so if anything sparks your interest feel free to click on the links and that'll take you to the goodreads page for them but yes this is the oh, oh sorry and this is the 10 um the 10 part of the category is it 10 i don't know and then i went with for eight again merida she came up again so i went with the second choice and that is teal and for that i went with this book here swimming on the surface by kristen billerbeck i got this oh and as you guys can see the teal color here i got this book i want to say like six years ago a long long time um and a friend gave it to me gave me this for my birthday i had just finished reading another series by christian christian billerbeck and i really uh really enjoyed it i could really relate to to that series and i really enjoyed it so she gifted me this book for my birthday and this is about a man and a woman um and this is about a man uh, this a woman who is in an emotionally abusive uh, relationship with her husband she's married and then a man who has been um, like disillusioned uh, by Christianity so I think she writes um, contemporary like Christian romance novels so I think this is about how each like how he saves her and she saves him and how I guess they get together because it, she writes romance so those two people are gonna get together somehow <laughs> so um, this book however I don't know if this is like a special print because the the words are huge I mean this book is massive this is like bigger than my head and and the it doesn't have like page numbers or anything and the the lettering is kind of like big and spaced out so I don't know if this was supposed to be like a like a copied manuscript like I don't know how where this came from but it doesn't have anything like it just you open the thing here and then chapter one starts like in the middle of the page so I don't know what kind of edition this is but anyway this is my pick for teal and the last number that I got was number six Elsa also very well-known princess and those choices were ice blue or black so for that I went with black and I picked Night Film by uh, Marisha Pestle. This is a murder mystery, which was one of my favorite genres. And this is about a girl who dies and she is believed to have committed suicide. Enter this investigative journalist who doesn't really buy the story and they start, uh, is it he or she? The journalist, he doesn't believe the story. So he starts doing a little bit of investigating on his own and I'm guessing he finds a whole lot of stuff. So. This has been given a lot of um, hype on booktube as well a few years ago not so much anymore uh, but I bought it and I just never got to it so I'm excited to see how this book turns out to be so that's it guys those are the seven books that I picked based on the Disney Princess Roulette project pen um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing like updates on what I've read and you know my rating for each book unless like I get a lot of response from people saying that they do want to see my opinions on these books then I'll do it uh, if not I'm just gonna be updating it on my um, Goodreads page but I just wanted to do this video in honor of my friends who are doing this project pan and I wanted to support them um, by making this video so that's it guys thank you so much for watching good luck if you are doing the makeup project pan the Disney princess roulette and I can't wait to see everyone's updates and introductions. I've already seen a few already and they're 
pretty cool so i can't wait to see what else you guys have planned so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one bye